Back home and Families SA staff have told the inquest into Chloe Valentine's death they saw no need to remove the little girl from her mother despite obvious signs of squalor and drug abuse. Revelations too that a social work student on placement handled part of the case. The abuse started from the very minute Chloe Valentine was born. The newborn's first cries were met by her mother with shush you b****. For the next four years, little Chloe lived in squalor, with her mother Ashley Polkinghorn spending half her welfare payments on drugs. She died in 2012, after Polkinghorn and her then partner Benjamin McPartland repeatedly forced her to ride a motorbike and she repeatedly fell off. But today the inquest into the little girl's death heard family's SA staff saw no reason to remove Chloe from her mother's care. Caseworker Leanne Sowerby made the first unannounced visit to Polkinghorne's house following a notification she'd been on a four-day drug binge. Ms Sowerby told the court she thought the house was messy but not unhygienic and that there didn't appear to be any imminent risk to Chloe. That was despite bags of rubbish in the living room, drug paraphernalia and evidence Chloe wasn't being fed properly. Coroner Mark Johns grilled Ms Sowerby, telling her that visit should have sounded alarm bells. Instead, Ms Sowerby advised other welfare groups Chloe's case had been downgraded. And from there, much of the agency's contact with Polkinghorne was through a social work student on placement, Amy Kidner. On several other visits, Chloe wasn't even home. Polkinghorne would tell caseworkers she was staying with friends, but refused to say who. Ms Kidner raised the alarm, asking for help from senior staff. The inquest continues. Alice Monfries, Nine News.